going anywhere, Roxy. You gotta find your sister. Allie's a big girl. When she's ready, she'll come back to us. And in case you haven't noticed, I've got some pretty big stuff of my own going on right here. Yeah, like my grandson. Exactly. And Natty doesn't want to be found. I know that. I read the letter that she left for Jared. I did too. Sounds like Natty's had enough. She's crazy about Jared. No one in their right mind runs out on a love like that. Well, sometimes you don't really know how much you love someone until you're apart for a while. Huh? Oh, well, I don't think Natty's going to wait ten years to come back. I mean, she'd have to be nutty to wait that long. I don't think Natty's going to stay away for ten years. When she's ready, she'll get in touch with us. If she calls you first, you better let me know. And I promise. Natty is going to be so excited because she has a little nephew. Hey, geez. Listen, I want you to know something. I know you had a real good reason for not letting Rex know until right now. She did that out of love for her son. Oh, uh, Roxy, <clears throat> could you please not let anyone else know about Shane until we get a chance to tell him the truth? Well, no problem. My two lips are sealed. Listen, when I got a secret, it stays a secret. You can ask anyone. Another reason we need to tell Shane as soon as possible. You did this. You're always on the enemy's side. The enemy? Your friend Rex. You helped brainwash Gigi and turn her against me. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I just came by to get the, get the paper. Shane, it's my responsibility. I have to protect him. Can I get you coffee, maybe? Maybe I should Damn make you some coffee. I need Shane. And Shane needs me. Okay, but you know, you're, you're not Shane's father, okay? Don't say that. Don't you ever say that. So I've been thinking about something. Finding out that I'm his father is going to be a lot for him to take in. Maybe we shouldn't spring it on him right away that we want to be together. He already knows that, Rex. After he made that big scene when you showed up at Rody's, I sat him down and I told him that there was no hope for Brody and me. Ever. Besides, we've put things between us on hold for too long. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to waiting a whole lot longer. Me either. We were just kids back then. We had no idea who we were or what we were doing. Oh, we must have some idea. We have a kid. You know what I mean? I didn't know how to treat a woman. I thought you treated me fine. Except for the running away part. I just remember... You made me feel better than I ever had in my whole life. I still do. I'm a little nervous about today. I don't know what's going to happen. I wish... What do you wish? I wish you and I had... had some time to just take a breath and... celebrate finding each other again. What's stopping us? Believe me, I, um, I, I know from experience how upsetting this is for you. I do. I, I've seen you with Shane, and, and I know how much you care about him. I really do. But maybe if it's okay with Gigi and Rex, the man, you and Shane can still see each other. Once I'm, once I'm gone, I'll be gone for good. There's no coming back, no matter how much I might want that. I think maybe I should call Gigi. I think that's what I should do, right? Don't do that. You said Shane's good till three, right? <laughs> Nothing's gonna change between now and then. This is our time. Our moment to pick up where we left off ten years ago. <laughs> 